More evictions are now being seen in Taylor County after the pandemic, and one Abley landlord is left with thousands of dollars worth of damage after an angry tenant destroyed her home. KRBC's Annabelle Tuggle shows you what's left in tonight's top story. When tenants are renting a home, landlords often expect slight property damage called wear and tear that happens after being lived in for a while. But this is not what any landlord would expect to find. Man called me and she goes, uh, we're here with the house and he, he destroyed it. Blanca Cortez is an Abilene landlord who is currently living in Odessa. She let her grandson rent her home, but for two years he never paid her rent. We had him uh, evicted. We gave him numerous chances to pay. Her leasing agent and the constable went to see if he was off the property, and this is what they walked into. This used to be the kitchen, and you can hardly walk in here without stepping on little pieces of tile. But if you look over where the cabinets used to be, you'll notice they're all ripped up. But also, even the backsplash is ripped off of the wall. I feel that I'm, I'm all in my right to do what I'm doing because it didn't have to get to that extreme. A part of Taylor County Constable Dwight Kinney's job is serving eviction papers. He says it is pretty rare for tenants to completely destroy the home like this, but it does happen. We get them every once in a while. We Even though they aren't always this bad, he explains he has seen more evictions lately, and he believes it's because people are having a hard time paying rent after COVID. During COVID, the state said they couldn't evict people. This year, Taylor County has already reached over 1,300 evictions, less than 300 away from surpassing last year's, and they are currently dealing with two to three a day. But Cortez is now encouraging landlords to be mindful of who you let live in your home, even family. In Abilene, Annabelle Tuggle, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. Thank you, Annabelle. When we spoke to the leasing agent's husband, he said they were still working on an estimate for the cost of damages, but he's expecting about fifteen dollars to $20,000 worth of damage. 